Muchas gracias a la fans española. Hello. Hello. Uh, your friend has crossed over the United Kingdom borders. Uh, could you ever imagine you would go so far? Um, not at all. Um, you know, it, it, all the success that we've had since we've come off the show has been amazing. Um, and we haven't really expected any of it. We just kind of wanted to, you know, see see how well we would do. Um, and it, it's been amazing the kind of response and support we've been getting from people. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. This is just the beginning for you. Uh, what expectation do you have about your musical career? Um, we just kind of want to see how it goes and see what you know, what people, what people like and what if they like our music. Um, and my musical expectations is just to kind of keep, you know, making making good music and people people enjoy it and people have fun listening to our music. That's what we want. Can you imagine yourself as a new that? Um, not at all. Um, if people, if people say it to us all the time, and it is, it's a massive compliment, but um, we don't think we're anywhere near the level of take that yet. You have such a great success, and you even have a, you only have one direction biography. Uh, are you afraid about this? Because, I mean, uh, everything is happening so fast. Yeah. Um, everything is happening very fast, and it's very exciting. Um, you know, we we're just getting on with it we're just doing what we're meant to be doing uh we're just you know performing performing to our fans at the minute we're on our uk tour uh uk and Ireland tour at the minute um and we're just we're just doing what we we're meant to do i think if we you know if we look back and take a second to think is it moving too fast we will probably get lost so we just kind of uh, we're kind of just going with the flow and um doing doing what we need to do uh -huh. and there are many musicians that say that it's very easy to lose your mind when you are in a good moment in your career. How did you manage? Mm. How did you manage to keep your feet on the ground? Um, you know what? I'm very lucky. Um, I have a very supportive family, and uh, you know, I have very supportive friends um, around me uh, all the time, and they've kept me kept my feet grounded uh, on the ground, and. Uh, I'm, I'm still massively grateful for everything that, you know, every opportunity that I've been given. Um, and I'm just enjoying what I'm doing at the minute. Um, I'm sure it's true that you probably can go a bit crazy when your career is uh, going well, but um, I've got my feet on the ground and uh, hopefully I'll stay that way. How you, have you ever feel overwhelmed at this fun phenomenon? Yeah, it, it, all the time I feel overwhelmed. Um, when I'm on stage performing, I feel overwhelmed. Um, to know that these people come, um, you know, from home to come and see us, and they come to see One Direction, and it's amazing. You can't really ever really get your head around it. Um, it's, uh, it's an unbelievable experience, and um, I'm very grateful for everything that we've been given. Uh, what do you feel about? What do you think? Sorry, what do you think about uh, these other groups, singers that like they have millions of fans around the world, just uh, like Justin Bieber, the, jo the Jonas Brothers, and Lovato? What do you think about them? Um, they're really cool, um, and they, they're pretty much doing the same thing that we're doing, you know, young age, um, and they're pop stars, um, and it, they're really, they're really cool, they seem like really nice guys, you know, we've met, we've met, uh, Joe Jonas, um, uh, he did the Radio 1 Teen Awards with us, uh, and he was really cool, really nice guy, you know, still I got his feet on the ground, um, and we've met, we've met, uh, Beaver a couple of times as well, and it's just, it's refreshing to kind of see that you can, you know, have the success and still be the same person that you were before. Most of your fans are girls, but there are a lot of boys that know your lyrics too. How do you feel about that? It's amazing because we all said that we don't want to just appeal to girls, you know, we want some male fans as well. Uh, and we want guys to think we're cool as well. And that's really cool that, you know, we kind of have some male fans. It's really cool. Now time, I'm going to ask you uh, some questions that the fans have sent you through our website. The first one is, Laura wants to know, uh, have you ever been in Spain? Have I ever been to Spain? Yeah. I've been to Spain a few times actually, yeah. Uh, at Judge's house is in Marbella, um, in Spain, um, where we went to Tom and Carl's house uh, in Marbella. Um, and then I went on a holiday actually um, last the last May uh, to Marbella, uh, and it was amazing, it was so nice, amazing. And Carlota says, if you can say something in Spanish, do you know any words? Uh, muchas gracias, uh, hola, uh, just, just, just the, just the, uh, the simple, simple Spanish. Uh, that's very good. I, I have to say sharp in Spanish.
Ya lo hemos con un chaca punta. Lucía says, eh, do you have any weird obsession when you are on a stage? Uh, when I'm on stage, do I have any weird obsession? Um, not really. Before I go on stage, I, um, I brush my teeth, which is quite weird. Um, but I always do that, even if it's like for TV or on stage or wherever we are, I brush my teeth. And Aurora wants to know, what's the craziest thing you have done for love? The craziest yes. thing I've done for love? Um, I've, wrote, I've wrote a song for somebody before. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what? Um, that's, not, that's not really that crazy though, is it? Wrote, wrote a song for somebody. I know. Um, the craziest thing I've done, um, I, can't, I can't remember. <laughs> that's fine. Rosa says, uh, when you are going to come to, where, where are you going to come to Spain on tour? Um, you know what, I think um, we've got plans to uh, kind of, you know, go on a European tour. Um, so I'm sure Spain, Spain will be involved with that um, and we'll be, we'll be over there, you know, hopefully summertime. And Patricia wants to ask you, uh, how does it, how does your ideal girl look like? What does my ideal girl look like? You know, she, I thought I had a type, but I don't actually have a type. Um, just, I, I'm not even that interested in the way a girl looks anymore. It's just so much about, you know, if you can kind of get on with a girl and kind of have a conversation with her and have a bit of fun and, you know, have a laugh and she did not take herself too seriously, she's just a bit of a, a bit of a joker, then that's quite attractive. And, you know, then if they're, if they're attractive on top of that, then that's a bonus. And Lorena wants to know, uh, how do you feel when you see your fans crying for you? Um, it, it, it's a bit of a weird one. You don't really know how to react uh, to it. Um, but it's amazing, you know, to kind of see that reaction from people. Uh, I mean, it's, we obviously I still see myself as the same, the same person I was before. So I don't really understand why somebody would cry over me. But um, it's, it's amazing um, and it's, uh, it's unbelievable to kind of you know that you can have that effect on somebody. And Sarah asks you, uh, what does it mean the tattoo you have on your chest? Uh, the tattoo I have on my chest says my grandfather's name in Arabic. Uh, he passed away a couple of years ago, so I got that tattoo in memory of him. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, yeah. Ainara says, which artists or songs are essential in your iPod? Um, you know what? I'm a massive fan of Bruno Mars. Uh, a massive fan of Bruno Mars. Obviously, I've got the classics, you know, I've got. Uh, Got a bit of Chris Brown on there, a bit of Justin Timberlake, got Michael Jackson, but I'm a massive fan of being a Mars at the minute. And Camila wants to know, what are your plans for the future? Uh, plans for the future? Um, right now, um, stay in one direction uh, for as long as I can uh, and uh, continue having fun and making music with, uh, with my bandmates. Sandra says, who is your best friend within the band? Um, me, my best friend within the band. And Alba wants to know, do you feel stressed about, uh, do you feel stressed by fungus or do you like it? Um, I don't feel stressed at all, no. Um, I do like it. I mean, I'm 19 years old and I've got girls, you know, screaming at me and, you know, that love us. So it, it's, I've got nothing to complain about. It's amazing. I like girls. Mm -hmm. And Olga uh, says, it was your, your birthday a few days ago. How did you celebrate? Um, I had a quiet uh, birthday at home with the family, cut a cake, um, a few friends came over, just chilled out, it was really relaxed, really nice. And Alba <coughs> wants to know, if you, could, if you could change your past and become an anonymous person, would you change it? No. You don't change for nothing? <coughs> no, because I, I feel like I've worked hard to get where I am, so why would I want to be somebody else? So you like most your life now than before? Um, I, I, I do, I like, yeah, I do like my life more now, yeah. <laughs> Ariadna says, what are the best and the worst things about being famous? The best bit is, um, I don't know, if, uh, I always, I always find the famous question quite difficult. Um, the worst thing about being famous, uh, maybe, you know, just the fact that sometimes you can't just go out with your family, um, you know, to the cinemas or to go for a meal um, and kind of be completely left alone. But it's fine. It's, it's something that comes with a job. You know, you have to, you have to 
take pictures and sign things for people because they're fans. Um, <clears throat> and the best thing about it is um, um, the free stuff. You get quite a, you quite you get quite a bit of free stuff. It's pretty cool, like free clothes and free trainers and stuff, which is cool. And Liliana says, uh, what do you like to do in your leisure time? Um, in my leisure time, I like to just chill out, relax, watch films, um, and just uh, just do normal stuff, uh, play video games, and just be a normal 19 year old. Mm -hmm. And Sandra asks you, can you describe your bandmates with a single word? Louis, hilarious. Niall, carefree. Liam, Sensible, Harry, Cheeky. And yourself? Um, me, Wild. <laughs> Andrea says, how do you feel about being uh, one of the most desirable men in the world? Um, I think that's a bit of a, a big statement. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm one of the most desirable men in the world. <laughs> But um, thank you for that compliment, um, and um, yeah, thanks for that. Francisca uh, wants to know if, there, if is there anything you don't like your fans doing? Um, not really. Um, my fans, our fans are amazing. Um, you know, they're really supportive. Um, they, you know, they they follow us everywhere. They support us. They buy our singles. They buy our albums. They. They're at a gig, so it is nothing really that, you know, a fan can't do. Okay, and, and my last question is from Gabriela and says, uh, are you planning on studying any degree in the future? Um, yeah, I, yeah, but if I get, if I get time, you know, um, later on in life, I'd love to do that. Um, I was a master, you know, I used to love uh, English, I was an English student, um, and um, I'd love to, I'd love to get an English degree, that'd be really cool. Okay, and now say if you can say hello to all the Spanish fans who have sent you the questions, thank you for the answers or something like that. Yes, no worries. Um, can, hello, this is Jane from One Direction. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that sent in uh, a question for me to answer. Uh, thank you guys for supporting and following us. Um, One Direction loves you guys and uh, keep, keep supporting. Thank you so much, Sai. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, cool.